If you have a DSLR with a kit lens and looking for recommendations on what to purchase next to up your photography, then stay tuned. This video is for you. I receive a lot of questions from people, typically after they get their first DSLR with their kit lens and they may want to know what should they consider purchasing next to up their photography. Now this camera right here happens to be the Nikon D3400 with the 18-55 to kit lens on it. Now this is a solid camera and I've used it on a handful of videos in the past, but I've also shot with a lot of other equipment from Canon and Panasonic and Sony and there's a lot of good stuff on the market today. I want you to know that you don't necessarily need additional accessories to take great photos, but they can help. So I've given this some thought and I'm going to post links to everything I'm going to talk about in the description below, so be sure to reference those links for more information. But I want you to know that this is my top five list and it may or may not work for you, but it's just the equipment that I've used over the years and my number one is what I use more often than not, all the way to my number five. And it doesn't mean that it's necessarily limited to five, but I want to keep this video relatively concise to kind of help you out. So if you're on a relatively tight budget, you can kind of look at this list of five and maybe pick and choose what might be important to you. So with that said, let's jump right in with number one. What is the accessory I go to more often than not? Well, I created a video on it in the past and it is the Fixed 50. Now I really like this lens right here and many photographers refer to it as the Nifty 50. Why do they refer to it as the Nifty 50? Because you can do a lot with it. Now this lens right here is relatively affordable and it opens all the way to f1.8. That is great. Now I've used this lens to do a lot of portrait work where I can get that soft background, that nice bokeh, and it makes for awesome portraits. I've also used this lens in indoor sports photography like basketball and volleyball. It's great when the lights are kind of low and you don't have the best going on with that. You can open this lens all the way up and really get those shots and if you have to, you up your ISO and you can really get high shutter speeds to help try and freeze that action. Now I have a few additional comments about this lens and the range of lenses right here so let me just touch on that. To begin with, I like the Fix 35 as well, and I will say that either lens is really a good option. I think it's more of a personal preference. I just prefer a little extra reach, and that's the reason why I like the 50. Now I'll also say that you can typically find the 50 and the 35 with other manufacturers like your Canons and your Sony's Panasonic's and your Nikon's, um, but I will also say that Nikon makes a Fix 40 that I showcased in my macro photography video and that might be a good middle ground if you aren't quite certain between the 35 and the 50. I did like that 40 and again it is a true macro lens and it seemed to work well. But for a little extra reach the Fix 50 is a great great option. So what is my number two accessory? Well what do I use right next to this Fix 50 more often than not? Well for me it is my tripod. So if you don't have a tripod, get a tripod. Now, early on, you know, if you have a tight budget and you're not quite sure like what to get and can you forego the tripod, well, yeah, I've used a lot of things to steady my camera in the past, you know. Even if I don't have the tripod with me, I've used like the top of my car and trash cans and fence posts and tree limbs, you know. You can do a lot of different things to steady your camera on long shutters. Um, but having a tripod is nice because you have a lot of flexibility with it. Now this is a Zomi tripod with a ball head on it. And again, I've used this in a handful of videos in the past and I would say this is my number two accessory. So what is my number three accessory? Well, for me it is the speed light with the diffuser. Now actually the diffuser you really don't need. Um, but. I always put my diffuser on when I'm using this speed light because it helps to you know, break away that really harsh light that might hit your subject. So nonetheless, this, this really isn't that costly, but um, you know, if I had to pick my number three accessory, it's definitely the speed light. Now the speed light allows you to angle the flash. Now, I've created a couple of different videos on this, 
This is just the newer 750 Mark II model. And again, I've had this in a handful of videos. I find that it works well. And this is my number three accessory. So what is my number four accessory? You might say, well, the number four accessory for me is my flash triggers. Now, these are the Altura triggers, and I've used these in different videos as well. But the reason I really like these uh, flash triggers is that it allows me to take that speed light off camera, and I can position that light in different ways. Now, I use this in um, the freezing of water droplets in some of these videos, and um, I did a video on freezing smoke as it went through the air, and I had those flashes off camera. And so the triggers are really important to make that happen. You can do a lot of creative photography with the triggers. Um, they're really not that expensive. And so uh, for me, it's my number four accessory. So what is my number five accessory? Well, I would say last but not least, um, but it is number five. So uh, for me, it is the Joby Gorilla Pod. Now, I think I've done a video on this. Um, but what I really like about this tripod is that these legs can wrap around all kinds of stuff. So um, if you're out and about and you don't have your tripod with you, uh, this little Joby right here, say it's in your backpack and you're traveling or you're hiking, it's great to have. I've used this thing to hook on to all kinds of stuff, you know, trees. And I've actually used this to hook on to tripods even. And you might say, why would you hook a tripod on a tripod? I don't know, there was probably a reason for it somewhere, but, but it, it's, uh, it's worked out really well for me. And I really like this, uh, this Joby uh, Gorilla Pod. And I think this is the DSLR one. Um, I'll confirm that and again, post the link in the description below if you're interested. But this is just another great option. This video was intended to be short and sweet, and I hope it helped you out. I want you to keep in mind, though, that... Those accessories may or may not match your own, but it's just what I use more often than not. And I will say it's kind of tough for me to rank and order some of those. I will say though that I definitely use that Fix 50 more than I use the Joby Gorilla Pod, for example. But I do find them all of value, and I will say that I left a few additional accessories off that list. Now I can talk more about them perhaps in another video if you're interested. For example, the photographic umbrella and the photographic stand. And I also have a reflector. Now, I think I did a video on the reflector in the past. Um, check the description below, because after I make this video, I'll see if I have it, and I'll post a link. But um, I don't use it that often. But if you are doing some portrait photography, and you have an assistant with you, it's really nice to kind of have that reflector, because they can use it to diffuse the light, or they can reflect light onto your subject. And it is kind of nice to have that. But nonetheless, I hope this video has helped you out in some way. And keep in mind, I am on Instagram. I'll post a link in the description below to that as well. I think I got a lot of links to post for you. But uh, nonetheless, follow me over there if you like. And if this video has helped you out, be sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't done so, subscribe to the channel. It's called Real World. More often than not, I post videos about photography and technology, but you never know. So until the next video, take care of yourself and be safe.